In September of 1620, a hundred people, many of them seeking religious freedom in the New World, set sail from England. People wanted to practice their religious beliefs freely, so many of them fled to the Netherlands, where laws were more flexible. But others sought to out to the new land in conquest of a larger expansion of freedom and their religious beliefs. That November, the ship landed on the shores of Cape Cod in present-day Massachusetts. A scouting party was sent out, and in late December, the group landed in Plymouth Harbor, where they would form the first permanent settlements of Europeans in the New England area. The pilgrims were happy to finally be in America, but things did not get easier for them. They were not prepared for the cold winter. They quickly built a main common house and then began to build small houses for each of the families. The Native Americans welcomed the arriving immigrants and helped them survive. Then, they eventually celebrated together, even though the pilgrims considered the Native Americans heathens. Pilgrims gained the help from natives, but on the other hand, this began the destruction of Native American populations. Pilgrims carried diseases like the wiped and tri tired tribes from Europe, like smallpox, syphilis, and even the bubonic plague. In 1692, the spread of domesticated Puritanism formed new sects throughout the colonies and communities. Many preachers set out a new destiny to change the minds of others. With this came the many forms of religious conflict, eventually leading to the Salem Witch Trials. Mass ex executions came about as a result of a combination of church politics, family feuds, and hysterical children, all of which unfolded in a vacuum of political authority. As 1692 passed into 1693, the hysteria began to lose steam. The governor of the colony, upon hearing that his own wife was accused of witchcraft, ordered the end to the trials. But this was not the last act of religious violence in the colonies, but only the beginning. In the early 1700s, preachers began spreading their new developing message throughout the colonies on trips to influence as many as possible to join their denominations. Through these actions and through the helps of preachers like George Whitefield, who formed a period where spirituality and religion devotion were revived, this feeling swept through the American colonies between the 1730s and the 1770s. The revival of Protestant beliefs was part of a much broader movement that was taking place throughout the world. During the early 1800s, when the role of slavery in American economics became a staple political and moral issue, enslaved preacher Nat Turner turned the debate into a rebellion. His action of revolting against his master set off a massacre of up to 200 African American people and the new wave of oppressive legislation prohibiting the education, movement, and assembly of enslaved people. But it also set out to show that pe people come together in times of need, especially the religious practices. In 1830, Joseph Smith created the Book of Mormon, which started the process of one of the largest religious denominations in America, Mormonism. Mormons believe in the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, as well as the three levels of heaven, and are part of the Church of Latter-day Saints. Joseph and others moved west to Utah to spread their message and to stop discrimination. Years later, Smith got sent to prison on account of conspiracy. Townspeople stormed into the prison holding Smith and murdered him in cold blood. The followers created many large temples throughout modern-day U.S. and was one of the most common denominations, especially in West America. The Second Great Awakening occurred throughout the creation of Mormonism, but that also created room for other types of religious spread. Buddhism first came into North America through Chinese immigrants who settled in the western parts of the United States, beginning in the 1840s, as well as by North Americans who visited Asia and, with them, brought back sacred Buddhist texts. The first temple was created in Los Angeles. Buddhist, Buddhism was founded on the ideal of personal enlightenment and for one to reach their peak nirvana. Similar to Buddhism, Hinduism first arrived in North America through Indian missionaries in the late 18th century following Buddhist settlers. Hindus are polytheistic and believe in a type of reincarnation similar to the Buddhist population, and both created a large and detailed temples that express the intricacy and messages of their religious beliefs. This originated as a branch of the Bible student movement, which developed in the United States in the 1870s among followers of Christian Restorationist minister Charles Taze Russell. They affirm that God, Jehovah, is the highest. Jesus Christ is God's agent through whom sinful humans cannot be reconciled to God. Through this, they do not celebrate holidays or birthdays or do not sin for the flag. West Virginia v. Barnett was an influential case that won for the fact that not standing for the flag was a form of free speech and also protected Jehovah's Witnesses from prosecution, among many other court cases protecting freedom of speech. Founded in 1865, the Ku Klux Klan extended into almost every southern state by 1870 and became a vehicle for white southern resistance to the Republican Party's Reconstruction-era policies aimed at establishing political and economic equality for black Americans. The Klan used deadly force to work against any progressive movement towards equality. They often burned crosses on lawns, lynched people, and bombed churches. 
As seen here, the Henry Ford Museum has a real Klansman outfit on display, showing how religion is often not founded on improving one's life, instead harming others. In 1950, L. Ron Hubbard published his best-selling book, Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health. Through, he originally conceived Dianetics as the science of the mind. Hubbard later adapted his theories into a more religious approach, calling it the Church of Scientology. According to Scientology Beliefs, itself is a blend of science and spirituality with the belief of an immortal spirit, and in improving that spirit here on Earth using its methods. Scientologists do not typically dwell on heaven or hell or the afterlife, instead of focusing on one spirit. They have been largely accustomed to drama as their practices have been considered brainwash-like and track members down and stalk and blackmail them. The Manson family was a commune, gang, and cult led by Charles Manson that was active in California in the late 1960s and the early 1970s. The group consisted of approximately 100 followers who lived an unconventional lifestyle with habitual use of hallucinogenic drugs such as LSD. Manson's philosophy of the upcoming apocalypse was the true motive behind his killings. He told his followers that Helter Skelter was coming. Through these views, he believed that the white and black population of America was going to have a fallout and hence killed multiple groups to spread the word. In these killings, most famously, Manson and his following killed actress Sharon Tate and her unborn child, as well as many other partygoers. Preacher Jim Jones led a diverse group of religious followers and created the People's Temple. They shared one common goal, to create an egalitarian society free of problems of class and race. Many of those who joined in Indiana in the 1950s had lower incomes and felt alienated from society. Some say the influence of low-income families allowed Jones to prey upon the resources and hence made a compound in Guyana, better known as Jonestown. As Jim Jones took control grew stronger in an isolated area, so did the actions he took to secure his legacy. He eventually drugged Kool-Aid with cyanide to his followers in the compound, leading to the largest mass suicide in U.S. history. Heaven's Gate was founded in 1974 and led by Bonnie Nettles and Marshall Applewhite. Heaven's Gate believed that what the Bible calls God is actually a highly developed extraterrestrial. Unlike many modern cults and religions, Heaven's Gate spread the message through internet videos. Members of Heaven's Gate believed that evil space aliens called Luciferians falsely represented themselves to earthlings as God and conspired to keep humans from developing. The group declared that they were against suicide as they defined suicide in their own context to mean to turn against the next level one is being offered and believed their human bodies were only vehicles meant to help them on their journey. These beliefs led to another mass suicide so their followers could transform their souls.